Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio. I want to start a new little series of daily lessons on things that are good advice at any time, but particularly good advice for this time. I'm going to take some points from the book of Philippians, and I'm going to kind of start at the end and work my way backward through the book. So let me begin with chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, I'm going to tell you that peace that passes understanding is a commodity that we are in sore need of right now, but really in need of all the time. And the main way to get it, Paul says, is to pray. Good advice for every season of our lives, but especially good advice for now. Fret less, pray more. Now, the biblical word for prayer, the literal translation of that word, is to empty oneself, to pour out to God all our fears and troubles and worries, and then having been emptied, He can put something better in its place. And He will because Paul assures us that the Lord is near. This would be a great time to increase the depth and the breadth of your prayer life. We should all spend more time on our knees in the midst of a crisis like this, and the peace that passes all comprehension will guard our hearts in Christ Jesus, who is so near and just waiting for us to reach out to him. Let's bow our heads and pray now. Father God, we do pour forth the fear and worry and concerns that we have for ourselves and our loved ones and our country and our congregations. We pray that you receive these things from our hearts and that you pour back in that precious peace that will guard us in Christ Jesus. And I pray that this sustains us through this time of trouble, and I ask it in his name. Amen.